Hi, and welcome back to Lisa's Stamp Studio. My name is Lisa Curcio. Maybe this summer you're going to be traveling in an RV or by car, or maybe you're going to be camping. And for those evenings or those long car rides, you might look for some projects to keep you busy. And today I've got a fantastic idea for you. It uses one piece of six by six designer series paper, and we're going to make five cards together today. These are quick and simple. Now you can bring these supplies with you or you can pre-prepare them, which is what I'm gonna show you today, so that you can assemble during your vacation. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below and next to it, that small bell icon. If you click that as well, you'll get notifications when I'm live right here on YouTube, as well as when I share a new video. Let's head over to the stamp table and let's get started on today's project. I've cut a piece of six by six designer series paper. This is from the Forever Greenery series. It is absolutely beautiful. And like most of the Stampin' Up! papers, they are double-sided, giving you lots of options. I chose this pattern specifically so that I can do a large array of different greetings on the cards I'm providing so that I can use both sides. The other great thing about Stampin' Up! products is the color coordination. So I've chosen the Pretty Peacock ink pad to use for the greetings on the cards that will coordinate beautifully with this paper. I created a template for this designer series paper, often called a one sheet wonder, which means you just use one sheet of paper and you cut it into sections so that you can create multiple cards. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. You're gonna to find the cutting dimensions and the template for this down in the video description below. That will head you over to my blog post where you'll be able to see all the pictures of the cards as well. I'll be using my Stampin' Trimmer that's here, and I absolutely love this product. You have both a scoring and a cutting blade, and you're going to see that they navigate up and down out of the way so that you can keep them on the track at the exact same time. If your paper has a direction, make sure that it's going the right way when you get started. I'm going to start by doing my first cut line. I'm going to turn this because I know my pattern is going this way. I'm going to line it up here on this side at the one inch mark. There's a nice straight edge here at the top, which is going to ensure that your paper stays nice and straight. And then we'll go ahead and slice. I'm going to take this strip and I'm going to cut it down to five inches because all of my cards today are meant to be quick and easy. So I'm going to be using the note cards and envelopes that are already pre-cut, pre-scored and ready for you to go. This next piece, we're going to do a couple more cuts as well. This next one is going to be at one and one half inches. And then I'll do one more at one inch. And then what's left here, we're going to turn and we're going to cut this in half at two and a half inches, which is going to be half of what's left. And that's going to give you these two pieces. So all together, you're going to end up with these five strips for the five cards. Now, keep in mind, this is typically a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. So if you were to cut this all at one time, you're going to be able to create a total of 20 cards from one single sheet of designer series paper. All of my greetings are coming from the exact same stamp set. We are going to stamp the outside as well as the inside. Now I get asked this question quite a bit. Do you stamp the inside of your cards? And the answer is absolutely yes. The reason I typically don't show that during a video is because I don't stamp the inside of my cards until I'm ready to use them. I found by choosing a greeting beforehand, if I decide to send it to a family member, my greeting might be slightly different if it's gonna to be to a friend or a neighbor. The Mini Mates stamp set is going to be found in the brand new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. If you don't already have a demonstrator, you can request a copy of this over at lisastampstudio.com and click on catalogs. I have my clear block here and we are gonna be changing out the greetings for what we're going to use for the outside. I'm mounting the words that say, just thinking of you. And I have a strip of Whisper White cardstock here. Now for the punch that I'm using, I found that a two and a half inch wide piece of white cardstock worked perfectly for this. Here's my pretty peacock ink pad. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ink this up. I'm gonna make sure that I leave room between each of the greetings that I'm stamping because I wanna make sure that I can punch them all out without ruining the image before it. I've also mounted happy anniversary and I'll stamp that one here. And I have one here for happy birthday. I'll change out this piece and I'll bring in another strip that I've pre-cut that's also two and a half inches wide. And this one says, thanks. And then finally, I have one that says, get well soon. Not only are these greetings gonna be perfect for your cards, these greetings would also make a great gift set. So you can package up these pre-made cards and give them to family and friends. 
I'm using the Label Me Lovely Punch for all my cards. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch out that greeting and I'm going to gravitate it all the way towards the bottom because you're going to see that this is very, very large for this area. The reason I'm doing this is I'm going to be using this punch in a unique way. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process now for all the greetings. We've got all of our greetings punched out. One of the things people tell me is, boy, I don't have a lot of punches, but that's too big for what I wanted to use it for. So that's what I want to teach you today. All you need is a post-it note. I've got the sticky edge here at the top, and I'm going to attach that sticky edge here to the top of my greeting. That's going to allow us to extend the reach. So I'm going to place this back inside the punch, and look what I'm doing. I am looking to align the top and the bottom, the sides, the best that I can. And then once I'm happy with that placement, I can go ahead and punch that out. Now I'm going to do this exact same thing on each of these greetings. I also wanted to create a layer to these, and you can do that with the exact same punch. So I've got some scrap Pretty Peacock cardstock here, and I'm going to punch out five of these, one for each of our greetings. I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet for this next step. I absolutely love this product. Adhesive, liquid glue, and hot glue will not stick to it. It simply rubs right off, which means I'm going to keep my work surface sticky free. Let me teach you how we're going to navigate this size for those greetings. I like to use a long tip pair of scissors for this, and I'm gonna cut this in half horizontally. So the punch typically would go this way. And it doesn't have to be perfect because a lot of this is going to be hidden behind the greeting. I'll lay those pieces here, and let's start with the happy birthday. I'm gonna flip this over, and on one side, I'm gonna add adhesive. And I'll navigate this piece vertically, and I'm looking to leave a small margin of color around the outside area. And then once I'm happy, I'll tack that in place. Then I'm going to flip this over, and this time I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on the left as well as on the white cardstock. And I'm going to take the other half, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. By cutting that punched shape in half, you've actually reduced the size. And that's going to give you this, a fantastic layer. Now I'm going to do that exact same process on these other pieces. Now that those are assembled, I want to show you another little tip. No matter how careful that you are, you may have a little overage here. So what I did is I came in with my scissors and using that white cardstock edge, I used that as a ruler to cut away the excess. Now I'll just go ahead and I'll check each of these and just kind of clean these up a little bit. I've pulled out five note cards and five envelopes from this package. They come in Whisper White as well as Vanilla. You get 20 in a package. I love that they're already pre-cut and pre-scored. I like to use my bone folder for that nice crisp edge on that card. Now we're going to start assembling, and I've got some more tips for you on using these pieces. I'm going to use the first card vertically, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to use that stripe. I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet once again, and on the wrong side, I'm going to place my adhesive. Because I don't do too many things straight, I like to turn my paper horizontally, and I'll line that up along the crease. I've got my birthday greeting here, and I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to use dimensionals for the back side so that I can help elevate that, give it a little bit more of a finished look. My Take Your Pick tool allows me to remove those adhesive backings and corral them. This now is going to get placed here. I've scored this card as well, and this one's going to go horizontally. And again, I'm going to use that stripe pattern, and this time I'm going to adhere it here. I've got my Get Well greeting for this one, and again, I'll add my dimensionals. This time I'm adding my greeting just a little bit lower for some visual interest. I've scored this note card as well, and this time we're going to use that beautiful leaf image. I've got my silicone craft sheet once again, and we'll add adhesive to the back side. This card is going to go vertically, and I'll add that here at the bottom. Now wait till you see what I do with the next two cards. This I'm going to make my anniversary card, so I'll add my dimensionals. That'll get placed here about half on and half off the designer series paper. Remember these two strips? Well, we can certainly use them like this. Intuitively, you would just want to place them here on your card. But I've got an idea for you that will make this a little bit more visually appealing. I've got one of those one-inch strips here, and I'm going to cut it in half to make it a half an inch. We're going to flip both of those over. We'll add adhesive to the back side. This card we're going to use horizontally. 
I'll take one of my strips. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the bottom so that some of that white note card will show. I'm going to take the other strip and I'm going to leave a little bit of space between that first row and this row. If you have any excess hanging off the edge, we all do it. We try to cut as accurately as we can, but sometimes we're a little bit off. So just go ahead and trim it from the inside so you've got a nice clean edge. This is going to be my thank you card and I've got my dimensionals here for the back side. And I chose to mount this center. Now wait till you see what I do with the last card. This is the remaining one inch strip. So I'm gonna come back to my trimmer. I'm gonna cut this at a quarter inch. That's gonna leave us two different sizes. For this last note card, we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the strip here. Again, I'd like to turn it horizontally so I have it straight. Now you can leave a margin of color if you'd like, but I went all the way to the edge. This small sliver, let's flip it over so that we have a different color and pattern on this side. Now, depending on where you cut your designer series paper, this pattern can vary. I'll turn this to the wrong side on my silicone craft sheet. And again, I'm gonna turn this horizontally to make it easier for my hand. I'm leaving a small gap here between those two layers and we'll tack that in place. Open up your card base once again, cut away any excess that might show. And we'll do the exact same thing with the thinking of you and we'll add those dimensionals to the back side. I'll add this greeting here near the bottom. My last step was to go back to this stamp set and use the other greetings for the inside of these cards. Our thinking of you card has because you make me smile. Our happy birthday card has it's your day. Happy anniversary has celebrate. Thanks has you're just so fabulous. And get well soon has better yet. These five cards were all made with one six by six inch square of designer series paper, one stamp set, one punch, one ink pad. Pre-punch the pieces if you're going to be going on a road trip or camping and you'll have them ready to go. Or this is such a small amount of supplies, you can go ahead and bring them with you. Either way, I hope that you'll enjoy your summer getting out on the road and into some fresh air and that these ideas will provide an evening or an afternoon of fun. If you have enjoyed today's video, would you please give it a thumbs up here on YouTube, which is a like. It certainly helps. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. 